A Lion in the Dark by Pamela Allen. There once was a baby who lived in a castle with the king, the queen, the admiral, the captain, the general, the sergeant, and a little dog. Because she was a baby, she couldn't walk and she couldn't talk. Oh, but she could cry. One night, when she had been put to bed while it was still light, she made a wish. Later, when the moon was out and the tide was high, the queen woke up. <gasps> and what did she see? She saw a lion stealing the baby. The queen woke the king. And the king woke the admiral, and the admiral woke the captain, and the captain woke the general, and the general woke the sergeant, and the sergeant woke the little dog. And what did they do? They chased the lion, the lion that was stealing the baby. Out of the castle and over the fields, over the fields and into the forest, out of the forest and past the church, past the church and into the boat, into the boat and across the sea, across the sea and over the mountains, over the mountains and into the fields. <gasps> and there the lion stopped. <laughs> Back home they ran as fast as they could, over the mountains and into the boat, across the sea, past the church, into the forest and through the fields. <laughs> I'm the king of the castle, you're the dirty rascals, bellowed the lion. He got there first and fooled them all. Now the game was over. Everyone except the lion and the baby were very tired. And everyone, as well as the lion and the baby, were very hungry. So the lion invited them all in for breakfast. Now they had what they usually had for breakfast, all except the lion, who gave the baby her bottle, tied a napkin around his neck, and gobbled up, a one bowl of porridge, two eggs, a slice of hot buttered toast, some crumpets, bread and honey, fruit yogurt, muesli, a bag of biscuits belonging to the little dog, and last of all, a big bowl of strawberries and red jelly. Then, because it was morning, the lion just disappeared.